All right, so this is the last part of our video about how to fabricate the crankshaft metal plate. So this is the last one. So you watch until the end of this video so that you can get the proper idea on how to fabricate this uh, crankshaft metal plate. All right, as you notice that time to time taking measurement because I don't, I don't want to make it a mistake. As I told you before that during machining must be very careful so that our time and effort will not be fruitless. That is why I use a micrometer as measuring tools for thickness so that I can get the perfect outcome once you make the mistakes and little bigger and there's no more clearance in between the parts so there's possibilities of explosion uh, during running you know why because uh, of the triangle of fire are present inside the crankcase like heat, fuel, and oxygen. That is the triangle of fire. So I explain one by one. The heat is the friction in between the metal to metal. So when the metal is touching each other, it will create heat and and the fuel is the oil in the sump tank and the oxygen is when the compressor is running and create oxygen inside so it means that this three triangle of fire is present inside the crankcase so if this triangle of fire is present that moment it will create explosion or fire that is why some of the compressor explodes because of this triangle of fire is present inside that is why I told you that must be very, very careful to to the thickness of this uh, metal crankcase because as I repeat, once you make it bigger, this uh, clearance or the thickness, there is no any clearance. So once there is no any clearance, it will be touching each other, the all the parts inside the crankcase. It will be touching each other and create friction. And the friction begins, then start fire, then split. So that is the problem when you making some parts is little bigger than the original. So must be exactly the same to the original crankcase metal plate so that uh, it will not be making a terrible problem that's why I told you that time to time you must to make sure to ensure that our target must be exactly the same so now it's uh, almost finished I try to make it polish by the use of sandpaper with a grid of 600 grit then after that I make it polished by 1000 grit so that the surface uh, becomes very smooth so that during running during running so it, it will not be uh, scratching each, each other because the surface is very smooth so 
the lubrication the lubrication oil is synthetic so it means that the synthetic oil is in between the two metals so it means that the oil is in between the two metals during running so it will not be great uh, friction so now I already finished the make drilling the holes then I try to make it smooth the canal for lubrication so that uh, it will be nice to see the appearance because as you notice the, the canal inside is not so smooth this is like a rough because of my tools is almost dull so that that's why I try to make it by sandpaper to make it good because this this uh, metal plate is have different hole this hole is bigger and the other one is small and after that here is the final final outcome so now it is perfectly the same uh, this is the crankcase a uh, crankshaft this is the crankshaft metal fleet with pastiner so now we are completion of our fabrication so all totally the same 99 percent the same including the clearance and the cornering so we try to put inside it is if it is uh, fit to the counterweight or crankshaft so all right so it's so exactly it's perfectly the same all the holes are coincide the six holes are coincide and also the lubrication hole is also coincide so now we put this uh, allen bolts to pass thin this uh, metal plate and after that we try to box up all the spare but it must be put it back then we try to start if they can uh, produce air so the, here is the old one this is the old one and this old one is uh, we put in garbage because we we have new one and, uh, and we can make so now we try to box up we put it back the pistons first stage piston then second stage pistons then the counterweight and the oil pump and the impeller then after that we try to taste for running about three minutes if if this uh, trial is in normal so we try to little bit running longer like uh, 15 to 30 minutes so now we are all here to start boxing up so now I try to put the allens to the new crankshaft metal plate and I put it some uh, thread locker so that it will be hold and lock in in position so that is the purpose putting the thread locker so thread locker is very useful especially in the internal internal parts 
if, if they have uh, some bolts, screw, and allen, situate that must be put this thread locker in order to hold or to lock the screw or bolts or allen in its position. Because if you don't put a thread locker in on the tray it might be loosened and flying inside and it will create terrible damage that is the purpose of thread locker because when the when, the, when I take out this allen before I try to use a hot gun in order to little bit loosen because if you don't put uh, applied hot gun hot air or hot air it will not be easy to loosen this allen bolts that's why I during my box up now I put it some uh, thread locker so that it will hold firmly and lock it to its position so that it will hold and it'll, it will stay longer and it might be safe your internal parts so that is the only techniques on how to how to stay the, the the allen bolts in his in its position so mostly on the uh, professional repairman they use also a trade locker because the I, as I noticed when during uh, parts out I, I'm the one to loosen the allen as I noticed that the allen is they put some uh, thread, thread uh, lock, locker because it's very hard to take it out so I use the little bit hot gun to to little bit uh, melted the thread thread locker inside the thread so now when the box up I do the same to put thread locker so don't be ignored when you box up some uh, some like this or some other mechanical device especially internal parts if they have some bolts allens screws must be put thread locker this is the base way to not create further problem so now I try to put this uh, second stage uh, first stage piston because the the crank crankshaft metal plate the next part is connecting rod of the piston with the bearings so this is the kind of uh, compressor it's very compressor is different from Tanabe or other compressor because the Tanabe compressor is they have a half connecting rod is the bearing is shell type but here in Spiri is uh, 
pro cylindrical bearings like uh, rectangle rectangle position the the bearings I don't know how to call this one this is a uh, roller seem like roller bearing that is, that is why this kind of uh, compressor is very hard to maintenance because you if you change some like that metal metal plate crankshaft metal plate you must to disconnect or taking out all the internal parts not same with in Tanabe if you change the bearing only connecting rod and they have some uh, half shell shell type so they have uh, some two bolts downstairs if you, you loosen this two and then put this shell bearing then after box up here in uh, Spiri is different you must to taking out all the internal like uh, first stage piston second, second stage piston flywheel uh, oil farms impeller fan and many things many things uh, to be taken out just only for change this crankshaft metal plate so for me this is my second time of this uh, spare compressor and mostly in my experience is Tanabi Tanabi compressor I have a uh, blog I already upload about Tanabi compressor so the problem there that I upload is uh, to change this crankshaft because the crankshaft before is have a problem of lubrication that's why the crankshaft is totally damaged so I have already uploaded that video on my, in my channel about Tanabi compressor on how to change this crankshaft on Tanabi and also I explain the how it works this Tanabi also if you like to watch that video you can uh, learn more about Tanabi and now we are all uh, helping together to put it back this cylinder of uh, compressor and some hoses and also the cover and the most important for that is you must to follow the tightening torques because uh, if you don't follow the tightening if you don't do not follow the tightening torques it might be create some uh, problem during uh, operation you must to follow the service manual the tightening torques that is, that is the good practice so some uh, other people use with the uh, spanner and extension we need extension with uh, pipes so it's not uh, good enough because our hand you cannot calculate how much uh, we put the tightening so it's better to use this tightening torques and follow the service manual because the torques that write written in the service manual is already tested for the expert after uh, boxing up all completed we try to start in a short time only like uh, 
one minute then if we found normal then try to 15 minutes then open the crankcase to check if this oil is not contaminated or if, if we found uh, normal then we try to 30 minutes to one hour so these are the tightening torques in designated sizes of the bolts and nuts and the allen bolts we follow up this uh, manufacturer torques the table so that it will not be create a problem so now is this compressor is almost done so we try to speak all the angles if there there is something uh, left behind so after that we start this compressor in short time only then after after we stop this compressor then we inspect if, if everything is normal then if we find out that everything is normal then we start again for 15 minutes after 15 minutes starting we try to inspect all the bolts and nuts if is if it is in torques then after that starting again for one hour so the that is the normal uh, trial of starting of this uh, compressor so after this we put the cover then we try to start more little bit longer all right so this compressor compressor is already starts and we found out that the compressor is uh, back to normal so there's no any sign of uh, abnormalities so we are all happy that our job is successful so now it's already start it's already one hour of uh, trial so there's no any abnormalities during the trials and it will be considered that this compressor is normal now so we try to put the cover and put in service so the sounds and the amperes all everything is uh, normal so we are all successful of repairing this compressor number one so we try to put it back the cover and put in service and now all the cover is put it back then we put in uh, service this compressor so thank you all guys that uh, you are uh, watching all my videos from part 1, part 2 and part 3. Thank you all for that and I hope you got the ideas and techniques on how to repair this crankshaft metal plate. We are, this crankshaft metal plate is fabricated on board because we don't have any spare. Maybe from uh, an export of coal maybe the spare parts is coming we change about the connecting rod and these two pieces crankshaft metal plate so now I hope all guys are all safe and good health 
and also with your family and happy new year and thank you very much for watching my videos i hope all guys are with me